happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to soak off press on nails that were applied with rubber base gel i do have a full tutorial showing how i applied these press on nails so i am going to leave that link down in the description box below but yeah let's hop into this video so really quick i want to show you all up close what the nails are looking like before i soak them off this is what they look like after three weeks of wear you all can see the new growth and yeah applying the press on nails with rubber base was a really good option for me i really enjoyed um, applying them that way here i'm showing that there is just ever so slight lifting to um, some of the nails but overall this method held up very very well for um, three weeks of wear and i was very rough on the nails but yeah let's go ahead and hop into how to remove these grown out press on nails because i was so ready to take these bad boys off i'm going to be showing you all how to soak off press on nails so i did get a new like soak off bowl in from amazon i'm going to link it down below but i don't know if you all have seen my old method but it's just a bowl and some finger cubbies and i just upgraded it to this because i normally soak off with rice and i'll show you guys how to do that shortly but i love this had a lid to it and I can store my rice in here. So I'm gonna show you all. Fill your bowl up with rice and I've already heated my bowl up so it is nice and warm. And you want it to be warm so that um, the acetone can make it really quick when um, soaking off your nails. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place this part of the bowl in there so that it gets nice and hot. And you just gotta wiggle it on in there. Yeah, so now that that's on there, now I'm gonna go ahead and clip down my nails. I'm gonna just take down these press-on nails. So I'm just gonna clip them right about here. Okay, and now that the nails are all clipped down, now I'm gonna just file off the shiny top coat and I'm gonna be using the new nail drill I just got in from Melody Susie. And I'm gonna keep it on low for now. And the only thing I'm gonna do is go through and file off that shiny top coat of the press on. Yeah, this is a really powerful drill. Like, I'm impressed. So all the nails have been clipped down and filed down to shape. So now that I have my soak off bowl filled with rice and ready to soak off, I'm gonna go ahead and pour acetone into each of these little holes here. From there, you go ahead and place all of your hands in each individual cubby, like so. Just to kind of keep the heat in the soak bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with a towel, and that's just gonna help the soak off process. So I'm gonna let it soak for about 15 minutes, and then I'll be back to remove it. Alrighty, so it's been about 15 minutes later. We're gonna take a look at um, how the nails are looking. And so, okay, so far so good. Looks like they're soaking off perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get just a paper towel. I'm gonna have it here on the side. And what I like to do is I like to remove one finger at a time because it allows the other nails to soak and then just scrape off each nail individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, and you'll see it's super easy to remove. It flaked right off the nail. Nothing difficult, nothing hard. And just like that, the press on nail is off and you're ready for the next set. So I'm gonna still let that soak. I'm gonna bring out the next finger here. Again, it comes right off. I'm gonna do the third finger. Like so. And it peels right off. Love it. nail here yeah I love I love this method for soaking off nails so yeah and I'm really liking these new uh, bowls that I got too it makes life a lot quicker and other thing is what that's great about it is that I can actually store the rice in the bowl so yeah y'all that's that's pretty much it last thing left to do is to just wipe off your nails like so 
uh, I guess there's still a little bit of product on this index finger. And it'll just flake right off. So this is what the nails are looking like after I've scraped off all of the press on nails. And the last thing left to do is to just to hydrate my cuticles. I'm going to just go in with this pen I got from Melody Susie and hydrate my cuticles here. And this is what the nails look like after they've been soaked off. So I just removed the press-ons from both of my nails and this is how my nails are looking. Still really nice and healthy. Um, I want to show you all really quick. Um, how to uh, clean this bowl out. So I really, I really enjoyed using this to soak off my nails. This is definitely going to be my new go-to. Um, so this right here, what I love about this is that I'm going to be able to store this um, with the rice when I put it away. So the first thing I want to do is you'll take an old paper towel and you just go ahead and soak up as much acetone as you can. Um, you want to make sure that you do not pour this acetone down the drain because it can mess up your pipes can mess up your plumbing so once you get all of it soaked up okay you want to make sure you go through and just clean up each of those little grooves making sure to remove any debris and such from the inside one thing I like to do is I'll take like a small piece of a paper towel and I'll take the other end of my cuticle scraper and I'll just kind of like kind of use it to scrub the inside of my thing just to get everything out So, and I'm going to go through off camera and get all the rest of this out, but y'all get the idea. But the thing that I love about this is now when I'm ready to store it for future use, all I have to do is put the lid on and then I can snap it closed. So yeah, I really, really like this option a lot. And I will leave the link to this listing down in the description box below. I've also seen people soak off with hot water and acetone. So where I put the rice at in that bowl, I've seen people put hot water in there and soak off as well. So there's plenty of options of how to soak off your press on nails. So use the one that works best for you. So yeah, let me know how you all remove your press on nails. Um, this is just the method that I like to use. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.